On Thursday, April 28th, the CEO of Airbnb, Brian Chesky, made a huge announcement via Twitter uh, with this tweet right here, in which he is basically saying, from now on, Airbnb employees can live anywhere in the world. That's right, anywhere. The way he announced it was pretty cool too, because he announced some of the reasons and some of the groundbreaking policies that they are going to enact to make this real for their employees. One of the things I found to be very interesting is he made sure to mention that if you move from San Francisco um, to Nashville, there won't be a salary adjustment. No matter where you live, you are going to be making the same amount of money. This is huge because as we are living through this time where people are talking about remote or hybrid or in office, there's also been the debate that if you leave from one place to another, should there be a salary adjustment based on cost of living? What the CEO of Airbnb is saying is firmly no. For Airbnb employees, that will not be the case. He also made mention that you can live and work in up to 170 different countries worldwide for up to 90 days at a time. Within their new policy, structure, and confines, you're able to do this. You can travel the world. You can live in Airbnbs in a bunch of different countries, and it's still going to work for you as an Airbnb employee. This type of freedom and flexibility is pretty groundbreaking and is in stark contrast to some of the companies who are now saying, nope, it is time to come back into office. Now, I know some of you out there are probably saying, well, is that going to make them feel like less of a team? Are they going to be disconnected? Are they going to get the opportunity to spend any time face to face? And yes, in one of his tweets, he mentioned that there will probably be quarterly meetings that are about a week and sometimes more frequently. If there are things where they need to get together, they're willing to do that. But for the most part, what this would look like, people being wherever they would like to be in up to 170 countries, remote, uh, year round with the exception of one week, a quarter about um, to get together, connect, work on projects, etc. Now with so many companies um, who during the pandemic went remote and now they were kind of getting out on the other end of it, um, kind of, um, now they're bringing their employees back or they're doing a compromise and going hybrid. You're probably wondering why? Why did the CEO of Airbnb make this decision? And he states that out in one of the final tweets in this thread. He said, the last two years have been the most productive two years in the history of Airbnb. The world is more flexible and they wanna adapt and they wanna capitalize on the productivity that they've experienced over the last two years. So that is why they're doing it. Thank you for watching that video. If you were sitting here wondering, oh man, that was so good. I wish there was another video for me to watch. I do have another video, this one right here. If you watch this video, it'll teach you how to beat out 97.5% of other candidates in an interview process. Let's go.